Today I wanted to share with you two of the most powerful ingredients when it comes to creating the best effects in Photoshop and you might already know what they are. They are blending modes and adjustment layers and today we'll be focusing on how to colorize our image, how to add a tint or a brilliant color cast to our images using those two ingredients. It will be a lot of fun and it is more approach based. There's no step involved. It's looking at the image, looking at what you think and adding things accordingly. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and this photo was submitted by Cleoniki. Thank you so much Cleoniki for this beautiful image and we're gonna work on that. So first off, have a look at this photo. It's kind of beautiful. It's very beautiful, but it's kind of dull, right? It's lacking colors. It has beautiful colors, but that's not popping out. We need some tint, we need some color cast. So let's go ahead, add a hue saturation adjustment layer. We need to colorize it, right? So add a hue saturation adjustment layer, click on this gray white icon. And once you click on that, choose hue saturation. Okay, now this might sound strange a little bit. Make sure you go ahead and check the colorize. What that does is takes away all the color from the image and then adds just one color to it, okay? Click this and now, this might look strange to you, but wait, okay? I love the blue color. It's looking nice, but I don't want to let go of all the other colors. We just wanted to add a color cast. How about trying on different blend modes, right? So let's go ahead and try on soft light. Wow. Have a look at it. Have a look at the before, before, after. Just one adjustment layer with a blend mode. It's all about the two ingredients and when you mix those two ingredients, magic happens. So now you can go ahead, control the hue, select the color that you want. I think the blue was fine, but you can also go with purple. Purple also looks fine in this one, but I guess for me, I'm gonna choose blue. And then you can control the saturation from here. I guess this is fine, that's too much. This is fine. And the lightness, this is fun. Okay, so there we go. Have a look at the before and after, before, after. That's brilliant. Now, you wanna add some color to the hair. The color is a little blue-ish, but we wanna add a little blonde color to the hair, a little bit brown-ish color to the hair. Simple, add a solid color adjustment layer. Solid, solid. Okay, so click on this gray white icon and choose a solid color. Now, choose the color that you want. You want it to add brown, right? And guess what, you can always go ahead and change it later. So choose any color that you want for example, brown, and again, change the blend mode to maybe try soft light, maybe try screen, try a different blend mode, see which one works for you. In this case, I think soft light will work, okay? Soft light looks good on the hair, but doesn't look good everywhere else. It takes away the blues. So what do we do? You know that. Hide the other areas and show the layer only on the hair. How to do that? Mask, right? So. You don't have to create a mask because again, adjustment layer always comes free with the mask. So let's go ahead and select the mask and invert it. It's completely white, which means the mask is being applied to whole of the layer. Okay, remember, black are the areas where the layer does not appear. White are the areas where the layer appears. Right now, the mask is completely white, which means the layer or the adjustment layer is appearing all through the image, all through the canvas. So if we go ahead, select this and invert it, press Control or Command I, it disappears from every area of the layer. All you have to do now is take the brush, make sure the foreground color is white. Remember, white are the areas where the layer appears. So if we select the mask and paint over the hair, we'll get that back in that area. Now you can go ahead and change the flow and opacity. I'll leave that to 100 because we can go ahead and control the opacity from here later. So let's go ahead and simply paint. You take the time to make the precise painting, but you don't have to be precise here. So what's more easier is that instead of carefully painting every pixel, every hair, every strand, paint a little extra, okay? Just go haywire, paint a little extra. There we go, just like that. And maybe here and there, just a little bit. And so quickly we have done that. Now, whatever is the extra, press X to toggle between the black and the white. So once you press X, Black becomes the foreground color and white becomes the background color. If the background was something different, if there was just two random colors out there, let me just show you what happens when there are two just random colors. Then you need to press D to reset that to black and white. And then you can always press X to toggle between black and white. Again, black are the areas where the layer is not visible. Make sure you have the mask selected. And then with the brush, paint with black on areas which are the extras. Carefully, this time, you don't have to be super careful. A little bit of 
carefulness will do. Okay. There we go. That looks wonderful. Okay. Now that looks fine. Now we can just let me do this bit quickly. Now we can quickly go ahead and decrease the opacity of this one. If you think this is too much, I'm going to delete it from here. If you think this is too much, a little bit, and we'll go ahead, decrease the opacity. Maybe I guess 53 or 40 would be a nice number to be at. Have a look at the before, after. Nice color, isn't it? Now, I think something is missing, right? That emotion is missing. The connection is missing. And what does connect us to the subject? The eyes, right? The eyes are the windows to emotions or thoughts. I don't know what the phrase was, but let's go, just go ahead and zoom in quite a bit and have a look at our eyes. They are really marvelous. Multicolored eyes, brown and really looks like the universe. Okay, so easy way to do it. I've already talked about this. Create a new layer. Okay, fill it up with 50% gray. How to do that? Press shift backspace. Okay, if you're using a Mac, that would be shift delete. Or even if that doesn't work, you can take the paint bucket tool the paint bucket tool right here and fill it up with 50% gray. Now, what is the hex code for 50% gray? 808080, just so you know. Okay, so to fill it up with 50% gray really quickly, shift backspace and then choose 50% gray from the content and normal 100%, click OK. Now, this might look strange, but wait, change the blend mode of this one to color dodge. Now, this adds a lot of details to the eyes, but it also adds detail to other areas which we didn't want. So add a mask, simple, hold alt and then click on the mask. What that will do, that already creates a negative mask. Okay, so click on the mask, it creates a white mask, but we want a black mask and then paint back in the eyes. So we will press alt, hold alt, click on the mask that creates a negative mask. Now we can take the brush, make sure the foreground color is white, press X to toggle, zoom in quite a bit and then simply paint over the eyes, the iris. And don't go near the corner of the iris. Don't paint here, okay? Just make sure you're inside of the iris and make sure the corners of the iris is dark. Really makes it pop out, okay? So do it similarly right there. Now it looks like a portrait from Nat Geo. If you paint extra, you know what to do. Press X to toggle between the foreground and the background. Make sure the foreground is black. And then just paint out this area, okay? We got that right. Now. You can easily go ahead and control what? The opacity of this. This 40 is fine. Zoom out a little bit. Now that looks like something. Have a look. Wow. Okay. Now I think we need to soften her skin out, right? It doesn't quite look right. It looks right, but that will really bring the best out of her. So here's what we do. I talked about an action, a very quick action to soften the skin and we're going to use the same. Make sure you have the background layer selected because we want, we don't want to soften the skin above all these adjustment layers. We want to soften the skin right at the core. So here's what we do. Make sure the background layer is clicked and then we're going to use that action. Okay. Windows actions. And if you want to know how to create that action, check out this video right here. Okay. This is a part of a live stream on how to create this action. Make sure to check that out. So I have this action skin smooth. All I have to do is just play it, check out the action. You know where to check it out on the card or the link in the description. Now it asks for a value of high pass. Now you need to choose a value where all the skin just blends in, skin color just blends in. So I think that's too much, that's too less. Skin color has to blend in, don't look at the details. So I guess 18 is a good number to be at for this image. For your image it might differ, click OK. And then you need to choose a value of Gaussian blur where just the skin texture starts showing up. Which means that take the Gaussian blur all the way to 0.1 and increase it gradually. And just when you begin to see skin texture, stop. Now this is, if you go too much, it kind of starts showing the wrinkles which you really don't want. Okay, so I'm gonna choose maybe 3.2 or maybe 4. Let's choose like 3.5. I guess that's a good number. That's good. Okay, click OK. Once you're satisfied, it already selects me a brush and white as a foreground color. All I have to do now, let's close the actions, is just paint over the skin and that's it and it softens the skin out. Have a look just like magic. Okay, so make sure you, if you paint extra, all you need to do, press X and just paint. Stay away from the edges 
and just paint in really quickly. There we go, it just does the work like magic. Okay, so let's do it on this side. Only paint on the areas which is required of you, okay, which is uh, an area which is already smooth, you don't need to paint there. That's fine, that looks great. Okay, now paint over a little bit here because see, magic. It just goes away, all the blemishes and other stuff, it just goes away. But I highly recommend that you remove all the blemishes before applying this. I'm doing this really quickly, you can take your time and look at her hand, there's a little bit of injury there, let's see if we can get rid of that. Okay, that's pretty much gone. This is a quick way to retouch your photos and just an extra there. Okay, there we go. Paint in a little bit there. Very quickly, we did that. Okay, maybe on our fingers a little bit, just like that. Okay, first watch this video, then make sure to watch that actions video if you have not watched it yet. Okay, so constantly I'm changing between the black and the white color as the foreground and the background color. So constantly I'm pressing X if I paint extra. So here, as for example, I was painting the fingers and I painted a little extra, so I pressed X and just got back the edges just like that, okay? So keep your hands on X and spacebar. Why spacebar? To move once you have zoomed in, okay? Once you hit the spacebar, the cursor changes to a hand and then you can easily move and X to toggle between the black and white. So my hand is like this, one on X, the other one on spacebar. So once you have softened it, have a look at this how beautiful this looks. So have a quick look at the before and after, quick look. It's really my tongue is slipping today. So make a group of all of these effects. So we'll select the layer just above the background layer and hold the shift key. Select the top layer, it selects everything in line. If you wanna select everything in line, select this end, hold shift, select the other end. Everything in the line gets selected. Then press controller command G. Have a look at the before, before, after. Interesting, isn't it? Now, can I give you one more tip? Of course, I can. I would love to share it with you. So, what if you wanted to have a control to adjust the separate colors of it, right? You know what to do. Add a black and white adjustment layer. Now, that might sound strange, but wait, okay? So, click on this gray-white icon again, the circle gray-white icon, and choose black and white. And make sure this is just above the background layer, okay? We don't want this to be above every other adjustment layer because we have applied a ton of color casts here, okay? And we don't wanna affect the color casts, okay? So black and white adjustment layer just above the background layer and then it does control the reds, it does control the yellows very nicely. What if we tell this layer, okay, I want to keep the controls intact but I don't want you to affect the colors and make it black and white. I really don't want. So I just want you, I'm telling the layer, I just want you to affect the luminosity, which means I just want you to affect the brightness. So very simple to do. Change the blend mode from normal to luminosity, which means just affect the luminosity, do nothing else. So we're gonna choose luminosity and then just play with these. You want the reds a little darker, you can do that. Wow. You want the yellows a little darker or brighter, you can do that, it's totally upon you. Okay, I like this. And then you can green, see this green just brightens up like that here, okay? You wanna play with the blues or whatever you wanna do, maybe magenta a little bit, maybe just like that. And have a look at the before, after, really gives dimension to the face. So, that's pretty much it, it's all about the approach. What are you looking for? Let's add this to the group and let's have a look at the complete before and after. And make sure, just open up the group and just add this to the bottom of the group. Have we added this to the group? I guess we have, okay, now we have added this to the group. So what I did actually, so I opened up the group, group was collapsed, opened up the group, just clicked and dragged it in this line. It just went inside the group. Okay, have a look at the before, after. So that's how we colorize in Photoshop and all we need to remember is this, the two magic ingredients. What were they? Adjustment layers and blend modes. And when you mix those two ingredients, what happens? Magic happens. And all you need to do once you have your image open, look at the image, look at what it's looking for. If it's a little dull, add some color to it. Add a hue saturation adjustment layer or a selective color adjustment layer. Add anything. Try different adjustment layers and then try changing the blend modes of those adjustment layers. 
also combine masking with it. And also one thing to keep in mind is this, we as humans tend to be carried away a little bit. Try to dim it down by using the opacity slider. Hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe, ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss anything. I would like to take this moment to thank all our supporters who are helping keep Pix Imperfect free for everybody forever. Thank you so much to all these nice people for making this episode possible. If you want to support this channel, check the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and keep creating.